Welcome back, y'all. You know, the Dirty River Boys' high-energy live shows have attracted music fans and fellow musicians in this scene to their brand of acoustic-driven music. Check them out. The highway lines are come and go And every mile is a stretch of road The lights are out, but it's all right We're gonna make it home tonight eh? that's, you know, that's what I kind of like about our records and our shows. You can get a honky-tonk song, a real fun bluegrass song and a rock and roll song, all one after another after another, so. Acoustic doesn't have to be quiet all the time, you know, if it has the right, it's fattened up a little bit, you know, I mean, you can, you can play the masses with acoustic instruments, you can do anything with it, you know, really. Travis and I started playing in El Paso um, everywhere we could, kind of off and on uh, as a kind of a side project, just having fun, playing shows, making extra money here and there. And, um, you know, we decided to really take it seriously. And uh, I quit my job, Travis quit his job. And through the music scene, we met Marco, yeah, was who was a... fronting a band called the Westbound Outlaws in El Paso. And uh, we were in a band called Highway 28. And uh, we kind of lassoed this guy in and, and formed the Dirty River Boys. And we originally started the band, before we had the name the Dirty River Boys, we started as a full, with intentions of being a full electric band. And the only places that would pay us were places where they could put us in the corner. And you had to be, you know, really quiet. Your background music for Play four for hours. three hours, four hours. We still wanted to make the sound as full as possible, you know, with the instrumentation that we have. And we added a snare drum to the cajon, and it, it just kind of grew and grew. And when we eventually had the chance to go back to being a full electric band, you know, we didn't want to do it, because we were yeah. so comfortable with what we were doing, we thought we had something different. Some cool, yeah. never put stressful rehearsals on ourselves and say you're sitting in the fifth, you're singing in the third, or whatever, like if you tell me that I don't know what you're talking about, like we just sing and it's our voices that, you know, I think they just kind of blend, like I have, we have, I mean I know Nino has vocal experience, you know, but I mean that's our style, we just, at our shows we sing on top of each other and if it sounds good keep doing it, if it doesn't then don't. That's what we learned you know, next time. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, then, but we're not like, you know, it's got a, oh, oh, you know, it's like, nah, we don't do any of that stuff, <laughs> man, you know? We just kind of. We have a new, newer EP, uh, Train Station. Our first one was Long Cold Fall. It had uh, six songs. This next one has four songs. And um, I think one of my favorite favorites live and on the record is a song called She. It definitely showcases our um, rock and roll side. <laughs> See, the rock and roll oh, side. Geez. Rock and roll. Is that going to be a problem? We have constantly been on the road. Uh, I mean, literally nonstop. There were months where we'd be home three days out of the whole month back in El Paso, you know. Just, I mean, just two months constantly, nonstop, hitting the road. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that, that, yeah, that's probably, what the, we probably, I think we probably spent about $10,000 on vitamin C. Yeah, oh yeah. That's <laughs> just what on vitamin, on the road. Just yeah. on vitamin C packets. I think if we look at our receipt, it's probably maybe $10,000. Vitamin C and water. <laughs> Yeah, vitamin C and water burger. Yeah, those, those are what the receipts are showing. <laughs> all, all we do on the road. One, two, three, four. Got the round, stomp the floor, shout. Hey, hey, hey. We're never gonna die. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, we're standing there to fight. Hold them high, boys. We're gonna race from hell to night. All right, folks. Coming up next in our Texas Legend feature. I'll take you behind the scenes of A Ride with Bob, my live musical tribute to Bob Wills and his Texas Playboy. <laughs> 